which can induce maybe up to 50 physiological and neurological illnesses. The problem we have today is that under the direction of the United States government, the most of the Western countries, they were all advised not to tell people the truth. And so what we have now is really a runaway train. This is from the Naval Surface Weapons Center, the United States. We can change behavior of cells, tissues, whole organisms, in other words, any part of the body. We can have a six times higher fetal mortality rate, cause birth defects, and induce malignant tumors in human cells. Today, even now, Tetra is an experiment. It was between the American and the English governments that forced Tetra out. The aim is to sell Tetra to as many European countries as possible. But that is an experiment. Every police officer, every fire brigade, every ambulance worker, they are all part of the experiment, but they were never told. It has a pulse frequency which is known to cause calcium efflux. In other words, the pulse frequency will affect the way your brain works and it will affect every organ in the body and can cause tumors. The police will become more bad tempered, more aggressive and more violent. There will be more cancers involving the police and the sickness rate will increase. It's phenomenal what this industry now has the power to do. You can listen to every single person's conversation all of the time. Even if your phone is off, they know exactly where you are, exactly what you say, whom you're meeting with, everything. You, you have biological and microwave warfare. They can make you ill, they can target you. Not only can they make sounds in your ears, they can actually put spoken word into your ears and you can hear proper voices. And now the voice, depending on what they know about you, I mean, and if they've listened to your telephone calls for years, they will know what, who you trust and what you believe in. And then what they can do is they can then have the voice start telling you what to do. Even commit a crime, kill somebody. Think of a, a trampoline. If you jump on a trampoline and you bounce up and down and you get a nice steady bounce, that will be your natural resonant frequency for a bounce. If a 56 stone man jumps on and starts bouncing, you have no choice but to bounce at his pace because he will take over. Now that's what happens in the body. You, your organs have their own resonant frequencies which can be taken over. All of your body pulses and fluctuates at its own speed. What you have with these vibrations is when they come in, it's like the 56 stone man jumping on your trampoline. Your body has to follow. There, you have no choice. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You've got HAARP, H-A-A-R-P. I believe there is a similar device in the Soviet Union. We've got one on Cyprus. There's probably one in China. And with HAARP, you can just beam microwaves anywhere in the world. And you can target specific houses. You can target entire countries. So we're, we're getting to a, a, a phase now where it's, we can literally destroy the planet. A scientist asked to see me and he said, I've had a really bad problem, Barry. He said, I've just done an experiment for the government. He said, I was asked to test the heart and the brain against the tetra wave frequency. And he said to me, how long would it take you to do that experiment? And I said, well, um, 10 years. He said, do you know how long they gave me? He said, within the hour, I completed both and had time for a cup of coffee. Clearly, it came out negative and safe. And all the people were told was that the country's top scientist had tested it and found it safe. And he said, now I know 
this is going to cause cancer, what can I do? If I breathe a word of this, I'm going to lose my job and I'm never going to get another one. Now that's one example. Another is um, George Carlo. He did a 10 year experiment for the industry. He found that microwaves caused cancer. They said, we're not going to publish. And he said, well, you must because people need to know this. And they said, no, we've decided not to publish. And he went ahead and published Indeed. anyway, oh. lost his job, lost his research, had his house burnt down. It, it just um, it gives an example of what the industry is, is capable of doing. <clears throat> the whole communication system could be made safe. There are ways to stop the microwaves causing resonant frequency damage inside the body. But it costs money and they would have no profit.